Okay, the question is asking us to solve the integral, the double integral, over the region R, function x plus y, dr, where R is the set of all x and y's such that x is between 0 and 3, and y is between the function 2x minus 2, straight line, and 2x. So let's quickly sketch that. Okay. And... That, sorry, that is the x-axis, that's the y-axis, and the function 2x minus 2 goes like this, so that's negative 2, and that's going to be 1, do that in a different color, that's negative 2, that's going to be 1, rise of the run, and the function 2x looks like, oops, parallel to that line, looks like that, okay, so when that's at 1, that has to be at 2. Okay, so more or less uh, correct. Okay, and x is between 0 and 3. So 3, if that's 1, 3 is the line over here. And that's the line, x equals 3, intersects over there. And x equals to 0 is the y axis. My required region. So my required region is this area here. Okay, that's the shader region. Now we've learned how to solve this integral. We can do it directly using x and y. So the limits on x would be zero to three, and the limits on y will be these two functions. And we've done that. But the purpose of this question is to show you how to um, use the change of coordinate system. Okay, so if we're gonna, if we let u equal to x, okay, so if u is the line x, so u is equal to the line x, which is just a vertical line passing through the x points. So the bounds on u will be between the bounds of x, 0 to 3. But if we let v equal, well, hmm, 2x minus 2 is the constant of 2x over here. So if I can rewrite this as 2x minus y is less than or equal to 2, and this one as 2x minus y is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so I bring the y over there, I've got a greater than. Then if I let v equal 2x minus y, then clearly v is going to be between 0, because this is equal to v and it's greater than 0. This is also equal to v and it's less than 2. Less than or equal to 2. Okay? So that's the change. So u is equal to x and v is equal to 2x minus y. Okay. What next? Alright, so I've got the bound. So I can write 0 to 3. 0 to 2, so that's my outer integral, so that's du, my inner integral is dv. x plus y, hmm, what is x equal in terms of u and v, and what is y equal in terms of u and v? So we have to do that now. But clearly, u is equal to x, so that's going to be a u. Plus, hmm, what's y in terms of u and v? Well, if I take this equation over here, grab another color, I've got v minus 2x is equal to negative y, so y is equal to 2x minus v. Well, I know what x is, it's equal to u, so it's equal to 2u minus v. And I'll sub that in over here. So plus, I'll try to pick the same color, plus 2u minus v. So that's equal to 3, 0, 2, 0, 3u minus v. Except dv du at the moment, we have equal to dr, but dx dy, which is equal to, so dr is equal to dx dy, does not equal du dv. It equals the Jacobian, oops, times du dv. Okay, so this partial derivative is what we call the Jacobian, and we'll learn about what, what that is. So dx dy 
day u, day v is equal to the absolute value of the determinant of this matrix day x, day u, day x, day v, day y, day u, day y, day v. Okay? And the reason is because of the chain rule in two dimensions. So we just need to work out what day x, day u is. Well, I know what x is in terms of u, so day x, day u is just going to be the derivative, which is 1. Day x, day v, well, there's no v in terms of um, x, so it's going to be 0. Day y, day u, well, y is equal to 2u minus v, so the partial derivative with respect to u is 2, and the partial derivative with respect to v is negative 1. So it's going to be negative 1, 1 times negative 1, minus 2 times 0, which is 0, so it's equal to negative 1. So that's the Jacobian. So the absolute value of the Jacobian, day x, day y, day u, day v, absolute value is equal to positive 1. So it turns out in this case that day x, day y is equal to day u, day v, because the Jacobian is just 1. So it turns out that in this case it's okay to just have day du, dv. The 1 from the absolute value of the Jacobian is here. So let's integrate that with respect to u first. So I keep the outer integral constant. That becomes 3 on 2u squared minus vu. And I'm subbing in u equal to 2, u equal to 0, dv. So that's 3 to 0. u is equal to 2. So I get 3 on 2 times 4 minus 2v. And the 0 is just going to give me 0. So I'm not even going to sub that in. So, just to finish this one off, so I've got 3 times 4 on 2, which is equal to 6. So the integral is going to become 6v minus v squared. And I'm subbing v equal to 3 and v equal to 0. Ooh, I think I've got that the wrong way around. I do have that the wrong way around. That's a shame. Okay, so scrap that. I'll undo all what I did bad mistake. I apologize. It should be dv du, which I have up here. So, integrate with respect to v first. So that becomes 3uv minus a half v squared. And I'm subbing in v equal to 2 and v equal to 0. du, so that's equal to 3, 0. v equal to 2 is going to give me 6 u minus uh, 2 goes in there so I've got 4 on 2 minus 2 and the zeros are just going to give me 0 again so I now have the integral between 3u squared minus 2u subbing in u equal to 3 and u equal to 0 so that's equal to 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27 minus 6 zeros are going to give me 0 so it's equal to 21 Okay, so that integral over this region is equal to 21, and we showed that using a change of coordinates. If you'd like, go back to earlier on in double integrals where we used, where we learned how to sub in um, equations of x for one of the limits. Okay, in this case, the y limit. So you'd have to do that integral first. Go back and verify your answer.